This is a video explaining the vehicle inspection and VHC side of Garage Hive. So this is all to do with identifying work uh, and how you initiate the upsell process. So once the technician has completed the vehicle inspection, um, I'll put a link on vehicle inspections in the description of this video. Once the uh, technician's completed an inspection, one of these tiles um, is going to populate with uh, vehicle inspection awaiting confirmation. So this is where the service advisor knows that there is a, a basically an inspection that's been completed. What you can also see are inspections that are in progress as well. Uh, but when one's completed, as the advisor, you've basically got to look at the inspection and confirm that you're happy with it. So if we click on the tile, it will take us through to all the completed inspections. We see this here, this line attention. This basically is informing the advisor that there is something on this inspection that needs looking at. Now, if this was set to no, you could simply just confirm the inspection and just file it away. In this case, because it's set to yes, we need to have a look at the inspection. So to look at the inspection, just click on the link here. And this will take us through to the inspection. So we can see that this was just a, a tire check. And we can see it's pulling to the left uh, and needs four tires. So if we're happy with this, we very simply just select confirm at the top. And it's going to prompt us to create a VHC. So VHC in Garage Hive um, is a combination of a vehicle inspection um, and an estimate, essentially. So it's, it's just both tools combined for the advisor to inform the customer of the work that's necessary. So just press yes. It will create a VHC, but it's warning us that there are several documents already for this vehicle. Every document you create in Garage Hive, it will give you this warning for if there's any other documents already open for that existing vehicle. Just press OK, VHC created. So we can either go to the VHC from here, or if we go back to the home screen, you'll see we now have a VHC awaiting action. So like you use Garage Hive to manage your technicians, um, this is also very useful for managing your admin staff and managing the upsell side of the system. So we can see from here that there is essentially a vehicle inspection that's been confirmed that is now awaiting action from the advisor. So any service advisor knows that there is currently a job for them to do. Now within your business, one person might be the parts guy and the advisor and the guy who does the selling, or they could be separate departments and you have the ability to pass the document through these departments. In this case, we're gonna treat it like it's the same person. So VHC awaiting action, open it up. We can see the VHC that we created uh, from the vehicle inspection. If we open the VHC, you see it essentially looks like a quote, but we have the ability from here to actually look at the inspection as well. So now we can basically price up uh, the inspection. So we're going to do this quickly. We're going to use a service package in this case, and we're going to add the tire service package. So we've now got uh, basically the, 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 the parts required to fit a single tire. So in this case, we're going to just increase it to an hour. Tire valve is four, tire waste disposal is four, and tire balance is four. Uh, we'll add a tire. So let's just take a look what tires we've got. We'll use this one, for example. And we say we want four of those. So what we can see down here uh, is the total price of the work identified. At this point, this is where you would change the status. Um, so if you did have a parts person, for example, we could now change the status of this to awaiting authorization. Um, the reason I'd change it to waiting authorization is because me as the parts person has filled all of the information in ready to be upsold. I'm not gonna be the one contacting the customer, but someone else in the company is going to be contacting the customer. So if we uh, we'll come out of this screen and we'll just have a look how that's affected the homepage. We can now see that it's moved over to this tile here. So the person responsible for doing the selling can now see that there is a document waiting to be authorized. We'll reopen the document. They can very easily see uh, what the prices are out to the customer. So there's a couple of a couple of tools here. So let's say uh, you can use these buttons here as like a, a price calculator, as like a guide. So let's say the customer wanted to know, for example, how much the valve waste disposal and the balance is. Uh, the, the tire balance. If you click these buttons here, you see this price changes dynamically at the bottom here. But let's just say the customer's uh, happy to authorize all the work. So on the phone, we ring the customer up, they authorize the work. We can see the total price of the authorized work is £277.20. 
we can simply just put a comment customer agreed expect vehicle back today one of the other features we have is the deferral so if the customer didn't have the work done this is where you can set the date for a reminder and again that will populate a tile when the reminder is due but in this case customers had all the work done so we're just going to copy this over to the job sheet now so instead of having to manually now transfer this over to the job sheet because we've ticked these buttons here we have this option at the top copy authorized lines to job sheet if we press this button it's going to find the open job sheet so it may be that you are creating a new job sheet for a new booking that you're transferring all this onto or it could be the existing job sheet that's already active in the system and what you can see now is that this has all gone over to this job sheet so you can see the job sheet number that it's been copied to and we're going to change the status to complete so we now see that that's gone so if we open up the job sheet in question just one second if we open the job sheet in question you can see that those parts have now come over to the job sheet so these are ready to create a purchase order from now so that's the theory behind the vehicle inspection VHC back to job sheet. So just to summarize, from a job sheet, you create a vehicle inspection or the technician does. They do the inspection. The advisor looks at the inspection, confirms the inspection, which in turn creates a VHC. The VHC is then filled in by one member of staff or numerous members of staff. You phone the customer, you get authorization, and then you copy the lines back to the job sheet ready for the for the mechanic to carry on with the job or to raise a purchase order for the parts um, in the link at the description uh, I'll, I'll put the link um, in the video description i'll put links to how you create your own checklists um, and how you perform a vehicle inspection as a technician if you've got any questions just please let me know you'll also notice that this video was done in business central um, this product will probably change uh, it's, go it's going through quite a bit of development but the process will stay the same and the process for Dynamics NAV is exactly the same as well. Cheers, guys.